first-time visitor, huh? Silent Hill Downpour is a 360 and PS3 title. It's um, the first time you see a new area of Silent Hill and it introduces a number of key new areas, such as the tunnel system where the subway used to run. So whereas Silent Hill is always historically a dead town, you're seeing new areas to prove that there were life there. Just today's a big day, huh? To tell you the truth, I'm sort of sorry to see you go. It revolves around a character called Murray Pendleton, who's a convict who has been transported to a new prison when all of a sudden the vehicle he's in crashes. <laughs> and he finds himself on the outskirts. Something wrong, sir? As he moves into the town, so the familiar mist starts surrounding and he finds himself isolated in the town. And once again, in true Silent Hill fashion, things start coming out of the mist. The Silent Hill range is, is quite key for us. I mean, it's, it's one that's going a real resurrection at the moment. We uh, did really well with Silent Hill Shattered Memories for Nintendo Wii. And it was obvious that people were really, really keen for a, a decent Silent Hill game. So we're working with a Czech developer called Vartra. And they came to us and they've worked closely with the Japanese Origins books. You know, so they, there's the Bible of all things Silent Hill. And they've looked at that, extrapolated, come up with new ideas. And they've, they've invented this all new part of Silent Hill, which brings in like new fears, new mythos, while also parking back to previous Silent Hill. So if there are certain things that you know, Silent Hill is known for, it's known for the psychological horror as opposed to the all out gore. And it really ramps it up this time. You take it to new locations, you're taking, you're putting new situations where you're, you run armed, you're being chased. And part of it is something that let less risk in And it's all very, very unique. It's, it's the old terrors there, but the way you handle it is all new. The puzzles are a lot more complex. The freedom of exploration is a lot more open. So basically, it's, it's the Silent Hill game, but it's properly ramped up to take place on a PS3, and it's the first decent next-gen title Silent Hill, really. The PlayStation 3 version also marks a first for us. Do it. I am not going back to prison. Because Silent Hill Downpour is 3D compatible in that. Um, it's really cleverly done in so much as obviously you need the 3D setup. But some of the puzzles and some of the scares are just elevated by the really good use of 3D. And Silent Hill, you know, as, as familiar users know, you quite often find yourself looking down a precipice that used to be your exit route. And now when you look down, there's this giddying sickness because it genuinely does look like if you were to go down there, you'd fall and break your neck. And a number of the chills are specifically done so that you know, you, you know the third dimension is used to great effect. Murder's a mortal sin. You go to hell for murder.